What's going on guys, Fatal Lou here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid fake home run for all my boys, so stay tuned. We're starting off by creating our first guideline, contouring to his head shape with our gold FX. Don't be afraid to stretch the skin with your opposite hands to give you more space to either ball out or blend. Now that we're done balling them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. We're then going to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to our half guard and erase the line completely. Don't forget to use your lever and your corners. Again, don't be afraid to move their ear out of the way to give you more space. Now we're moving on to our three guard all the way open and we're gonna debulk the sides. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys wanna show some extra support, go ahead and follow the Instagram down below or you could go ahead and leave a super thanks. Now that everything's nice and even to a three guard all the way open, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then gonna use this same guard to soften up the line and get ready for the one and a half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, I'm moving on to my one and a half guard and I'm gonna erase the line completely using its corners and its lever. Now that we're done with our guard work, we can move on to our clipper over comb and we're gonna go ahead and debulk and make the fade as smooth as possible. When using your clipper over comb, you wanna remember that your vertical cuts are to blend and your horizontal cuts are to debulk. Going back to my one guard all the way open, I'm going to go ahead and use my corners and detail a little bit. Now that we're done using our clipper over comb, we could go ahead and deep open his hairline with the one guard all the way open and then go ahead and use our gold effects to start off in the middle, working our way to the sides, keeping the corners as natural as possible.
Moving on to our C cup, we're gonna start off at the bottom and work our way to the top arch, keeping it as natural as possible and also using the corners of the blade. Here I'm adding some finishing duches and making sure I detail as much as possible. As you can see, now that we're done debulking the hairline, we can go ahead and move on to our gold effects and make them as crispy as possible. Don't forget not to press too hard with your trimmers because you could bite them with the teeth of the trimmer. Now that we're done lining them up, we're going to move on to the top and make sure that the hair is nice and saturated and then we're going to start off by making our guideline through the middle and working our way to the sides. The reason why you might not make sure the hair is nice and saturated is so that you can get the true length of the hair follicle because if the hair is nice and dry then it's going to curl and uh, be wavy and then you won't get the true length of the hair. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please give a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and drop a follow on my Instagram down below or go ahead and leave a super thanks. Thank you. Now that we're done with our shear work, we can move on to our Turkish razor and Derby Premium blades and make them as crispy as possible. But before we do that, we're going to apply some shade gel so that the razor could glide better. When you're using a razor, you want to make sure the screen is stretched out as much as possible with your opposite hand and also that you're keeping the blade at a 45 degree angle. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. 